Welcome back. Today, state wildlife officials rushed to an area near the Davis Islands Bridge when someone spotted a manatee washed ashore. Our Carson Chambers is live tonight along Bayshore Boulevard. Carson, how's it look? Well, Jameson, still a lot of wind, a lot of water out here, and a lot of this stuff, seaweed, just all over Bayshore Boulevard. About an hour or two ago, the water was up pretty high, but it seems to be low tide right now. I want to walk you over here. The watermark had been up to about halfway on that tire there. You couldn't see the license plate on this stalled out car. But beyond the Davis Island Bridge this morning, it was much more of a recovery than a rescue. The flooding on Bayshore Boulevard has claimed sidewalk, yards, and cars. I saw all the waves and I wanted to take a picture. But when she washed up overnight at the city dock, a small serious crowd gathered. It looked like, like a little mini submarine and I thought, is it alive? The mama manatee didn't make it. Police and people watched over the 2,000 pound gentle giant until wildlife crews came to take her away. It's a very uh, a sad event. It's, uh... Tragedy. But what made people's hearts sink a little lower? This mama wasn't alone. You can see them <laughs> popping up sometimes around her. Like little heads pop up right around her like side. Like right there, see? Florida Fish and Wildlife thought two live manatees that lingered by the body were just calves. At closer look, a biologist says they'll be okay on their own. They look like, you know, from what we can see, the water's pretty dark. They look like they're in, in good health. Um, one seems very massive. Tropical Storm Debbie has claimed a lot on Bayshore Boulevard. Last night was no exception. And this is a live look along Bayshore Boulevard at Swan Avenue. You can see folks are out here with their kids trying to have a good time. I really wouldn't be out here unless you had some hard-soled shoes on. Just no telling what's in the water underneath. As for the manatee, we're told she will be taken to St. Petersburg where they will perform a necropsy to figure out was it something related to the storm or was it an illness uh, that took her life. Live in Tampa, I'm Carson Chambers, ABC Action News.